Hello everyone, Epiclips here, and in today's video, uh, I'm going to talk about a new update coming to Rocket League. So this was posted yesterday, and I guess it might have been posted after I usually check the um, Rocket League forums and just see if there's something new coming out to make a video on and stuff like that. But now this just got posted probably maybe an hour or so after I checked, which sucks because I couldn't record it yesterday, but to recording it today so uh really quickly i'm just going to go over what's coming out in 1.34 um so it's the brand new update and it's kind of what we've been waiting for a little bit or have known is coming back to the game so this update's coming out tomorrow uh on may 10th and basically it's going to be bringing back um neo tokyo so it's bringing back neo tokyo in a different way from before it's bringing back two versions of Neo Tokyo, Neo Tokyo and Neo and Tokyo Underpass. So Neo Tokyo is going to be basically how Neo Tokyo was before, completely the same background, same design and stuff, but it's going to be smoothed out. And then Tokyo Underpass is going to be the old Neo Tokyo, how we like it. So the new Neo Tokyo will be put in every playlist and competitive as well. So it's just going to be a normal map that's going to look fun, basically. And then Tokyo Underpass is just going to be put off, put on offline for now. Uh, so this is a map. This is a picture of the map. So this is um, this is basically it looking flat. It kind of looks weird to me, but I hope it's good. So the next thing that they are adding in this is the new battle car, and it's called the Mantis. So the Mantis is fully customizable and it has an all new look, but it uses the same low flat hitbox and turning radius as the Batmobile. So basically it's going to be another version of the Batmobile, which is good, but hopefully they do this one right, I guess, uh, because the last version of it wasn't so liked. Um, and then basically the only way that you can get this is the crate below and this is what i'm really really excited for and this is the new nitro crate that they're coming out with tomorrow so as per usual i will be making a video as soon as this comes out because that's what i do um as per usual we're gonna have 27 crates we're gonna open all 27 of them so make sure to check in tomorrow let's see if it comes out 6 p.m eastern time i'm gonna try to get it out by like 740 ish realistic so stay tuned around my channel from like 7 to 8 the the video should be out depends on how long it takes me to get the 27 crates you know but these are what's in it so we've got the new battle car i believe this is a boost here um i wonder if it tells you the names no it does not and you can't click on it um and I believe this is probably another boost, which looks kind of cool. So, and then there is four wheels that they're adding, which is which is a lot. So these two, I'm guessing, will be more exotic wheels, and I don't know what these two will be. Um, these kind of remind me of Lobos a little bit, but it'll be interesting to see how they come out painted, or if they move at all, we don't really know. There's no gifts involved with any of these things, so really, we, we don't know how the boost is going to look, how anything's going to sound, and I'm hoping they bring a new Universal into the game, but we will see because they just bring a new one. Um, basically, uh, this is what we can see so far, so this will be out tomorrow, and I will be making a video on it. So, this update is a little update, but it's very exciting, adding a lot of fun new things to the game. Uh, you guys can go check out all these pictures. They have a 4K resolution picture of the Mantis. So go check all these out. Um, it's on just Rocket League websites. There, it's pretty. It's like the second news I believe right now. So I'm excited for all this to come out, and I'll be making a video tomorrow on it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys tomorrow opening some crates.